Hi, welcome to Tati Bryan Systems, I'm Scott Bryan. I haven't done a YouTube video for about over a month. I've been having a rest and having to think about, you know, where I want to go with my life and my business and what I'm doing. So what I want to talk to you today about is Training for Speed, okay? This is a great book called Training for Speed by Charlie Francis, okay? If you've not heard of Charlie Francis, Charlie Francis was the guy that got Ben Johnson to Olympic gold in the 100 meters, okay? Now, you may think, oh, why am I talking about a guy that got his, uh, his athletes on steroids? Wake up, wake up. In the world of athleticism, you will see that the people that are breaking records are taking drugs. So get over that and forget about that. Let's talk about training for speed. Now I got this book about, uh, when was it, in 2000. A very, very good friend of mine got it for me. It's really hard to get hold of, so you may not be able to get hold of this book, but there's some great tips in there. He recommends heavy weight training. He recommends keeping your intervals low and not too long if you're training for explosive speed. Now, when I train in the gym and I'm training for explosive speed, if I get into a street fight, I'm making sure that I'm hitting the bag or hitting something as hard as I can for the shortest time possible. I don't believe that you should train for uh, four hours in the gym in which to become an Olympic uh, uh, champion boxer. I think you need to concentrate on your speed and your power as optimum in the first round, okay? Many street fights only last about 20 seconds, okay? If you're good at what you do, if you're good at your art. So in Charlie Francis's book, he explains about how it's important to get your muscle skeletal system normalized, how to make sure that you've got perfect posture for optimum performance, how to make sure that you're lifting heavy for short durations of time, making sure that you're, you keep as strong as you possibly can and you never go away from, say if your deadlift is 160 for 12, you should be doing 180 for two. So making sure that you stay in the power all the time so that can cross over into when you're on the track. The thing that I like about this guy is that obviously he's a scientist and he used drugs in which to get Ben Johnson in which to be unbeaten in the 100 meters. But when they found out he was on drugs because they missed the cycle of time of when he was on the drugs and that's how they caught him. Uh, but he was still one of the fastest men on earth. Now, if you look at the guy that's won the 100 metres at the moment, he's got an unfair advantage as far as I'm concerned is because he's got much longer legs and he's much taller. So that means that his stride is much more wider and that's what's given him that power in which to power up in front of uh, other, other sprinters. So I think that really for the Olympics to be fair, especially in the 100 metres, Everybody should be the same weight and the same height and the same leg stride, not different leg strides and different heights. So that's one bugbear that I've got. You can either agree with that or disagree with that. So I highly, highly recommend Charlie Francis's book, even though he's, uh, he was an advocate of anabolic steroids. But if you look in all sports, footballers are getting cortisol injections and different injections into their injuries to get them to recover really quickly so they can play again. So that's a, a form of steroids and that's a form of uh, enhancing their performance by taking a drug to make them play better. The tennis players are taking beta blockers. I'm not saying all tennis players are taking beta blockers. Then you've got the, the sprinters, the sprint cyclists, you've got the, the tennis players, you've got the golfers. All of them are taking one stimulant or another in which to enhance their performance. Remember that if you're taking or eating a food that enhances your performance, are you cheating or are you not cheating? If you'd like to comment at the bottom, it'll be great. Go to my website, Active Bright Systems. got a brand new website. Have a look at it. Comment at the bottom and tell me what you think. The next book I'm going to cover is uh, Kettlebell Training by Pablo. I really like this guy. I hope you enjoy this next book. 
which I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of that. All right, then, look forward to speaking to you again soon. I'm Scott Bryant of Active Bryant Systems. If you've got a pain issue, adrenal fatigue issue, uh, or you can't lose body fat, or you feel that you're not going where you want in your training, then comment at the bottom. I'm sure I can help you. Uh, I've got, uh, how many is it now? 449 videos. So have a good look round. Thanks very much. I'm Scott Bryant. Speak to you again soon.